morning all so our today's session is on g suit for education the main purpose of this uh, course is how we can use the g suit education technology in your institute in our company or in your firm the g suit education is specially developed application for education perspective and it having many advanced technologies and advanced concepts in all in it to collaborate with student and teacher now due to this pandemic situation there is a demanding online education is demanding nowadays so the reason to schedule this session is the current pandemic situation and demand of online education so g suit for education is a freeware provided by google but there is a one clause added by google we need to tie up with the google so online you will get the different blogs how to tie up your institute with a google it's it's up to certain mark means how many teachers and student account we can create there there are some limitations for free <coughs> free tenant of google suit i use the word tenant tenant means we are taking something on lease the same way the g suit education is the tenant we are taking the service for certain period and paying to the google okay so like this way we are going and moving and we see how this google suit work and how we can how it will help in our organization or on in our institute okay so in google suit there are different uh, modules different applications we can say in that first application is a gmail last time we had the course on gmail advanced features and functionality and uh, we will provide the link of that course in description box once we'll uh, share this session so i'm not go we are not going to discuss more on this uh, gmail to school then collaboration of documents the collaboration means how we can collaborate the share the contents with the students and teacher or in administration so for that purpose collaboration of docs is a very important then share in the cloud there is a google drive we keep our files photos videos on google drive share calendar calendar the purpose of calendar we can schedule a meeting with student teacher and we share the calendar invite to student they will receive the email and they can join it then the the important thing is the class streamline your class google classroom it's a very important thing and uh, it's nowadays uh, many organized uh, institutes are uh, conduct their classes on google classroom then create website you can create your own website many institute and organization having their own website next week we are going to conduct the session how to create the websites it's a bit long topic 
meet face to face means nowadays google come up with google meet now this google meet and now it's earlier it called as hangout hangout is similar to the google meet we can connect one to one so these are the topics are related to the g suite now now first thing how we can purchase or how we can take the freeware of google suit for your institute so now i will go on google and i will show you how we will start okay so first start google i'll start here google suit for education you will get a link google suit for education g suit for education click on that link let me zoom the screen so that everyone can see if you are mobile you can see it very well okay so okay got it then then sign up for g suit you just click on g suit sign up after signing up this g suit how to take the g suit this for the institute those have don't have google g suit or some institute having office 365 one more thing for this google suit there is a competitor is office 365 office 365 provided by the microsoft and g suit is provided by the google in google there are different apps like uh, uh, sheet then uh, word then presentation then google meet same way in office 365 also having same kind of apps but many of the institutes are not well aware about it many of the institute will prefer the google suit okay in office 365 also there are different features that one is also the collaborative platform but it's frequently used for the companies firms organizations and office 365 also available for school also that one is also very really nice and good platform for collaboration in between student and uh, teacher okay so we we'll move to g suite and also we are going to conduct the session on office 365 also how we can use the office 365 for your firms and organization these are the upcoming session so okay so g suite in g suite we start get started with the g suite <coughs> you just enter your institute name say e abc institute and your primary or your high, higher education whatever you can select it doesn't have any matter then it asks your uh, institute website you just enter www dot now this uh, abc dot com this site is uh, not exist i'm just showing you how you can go and register okay so i already registered you just enter the strength of student in your institute or in your college so you just go and next so it will ask you you just pass the credentials and go next and <clears throat> and here you need to pass the details Pune or whatever the details you just fill the details and your state uh, you can put your state also here like this way and you enter your name consider your name is Ram Kumar is your name so and you, you can enter your working email ID say any email ID you have I'll say, uh, say, I just giving you the example. We are not going to process the entire process. Okay, this is the important thing. What is your institute domain name? Ma see, now you need to, if you uh, your institute having uh, any domain, then you can enter, or if you don't have, then you need to purchase the domain and then domain is a mandatory thing for this process otherwise it will not work out okay so this first thing signing the first account will create it which is for the uh, which this account is for the admin means uh, sorry i missed the w one w so this account is for admin okay here let me i just enter something because this maybe this already exists so here here you can enter the username password and this is the admin account you enter the any user uh, password and anything here and next okay so it will sharing the gates uh, great ideas with the google and you say okay so it will create the 
platform for you and you say agree and continue so here i have given the details those are not exist you just need to verify where the verse exists and you don't know how to verify it so i just complete it now now agree and continue so that your account will be established and it will created okay so it takes some time after completion of your g suit education g suit for education account then first thing you need to do is you you need to say the first 14 days trial has been created for you you enjoy for 14 days explore the functionality of the g suit for 14 days now now uh, we are in process so after the, uh, you say continue to set up it will move to admin console admin console like our control panel of your laptop it's it's administrative ui for your uh, for your google suite you just click on home here you can see the dashboard you can clearly see the dashboard for you after that first thing you need to do is here to click here and you need to validate your domain otherwise you cannot go ahead don't worry nothing will happen with your existing website or anything i have used abcsd.com i need to verify to verify this uh, this domain it's really simple things where your domain is exist so uh, if your domain is exist it will guide you how to verify your domain all the steps clear simple steps provided by depends on from where you purchase the domain someone purchase it from wix someone purchase it from godaddy or someone purchase it from google if you are purchase the domain from google it will automatically verify your domain but it's a really simple process okay so up to this you can see the google console now now actually i uh, here you can see dashboard users and group what i do i have already created another one account for my uh, i have already created one uh, uh, g suit account with my with the, with existing domain i have one domain so i use that domain okay so i add me at motorradar.com so <coughs> consider the motor motors is the institute and the motor institute having this domain so this time being we are using this word so don't uh, uh, means uh, try to sync up this word with your institute so it's just i have one domain exists so i use that domain so i use the password here now i use the password and i i go into the, my admin console see now now i have i go to here so earlier i have shown you how we can create your g suit account for your institute now i i'm showing you showing you the existing account of the g suit here you can see click here next let me show you how it will verify see verify the motordrivers.com so consider as i have told you like this way you need to verify the domain then you are admin console or then you are ready to use your g suit okay so now this is console window the console window it's a basic ui it gives you or all overview of your g suit account okay so here dashboard dashboard gives you don't get lock out your account means it gives you notifications and pop up anything related to you i have used this account primary account means existing primary account for creation of this account that's why it's it's shown here okay so the important thing go on home the important thing is users and groups this is a very important thing the users it contain the students and the teachers in this i have already created some student and teacher so in our case we need to these are the these are the different students okay so consider i have added here ram pawar raju singh digambar dashit he is a admin guy so i have these are the user list means user list means the student this is this details of student and teachers who are working with your institute organization their name should be here so that he can access his g suit or his email or his google drive anything 
okay so for that purpose we need to whenever you provide him his own account then he is he he, he can access the gmail with his uh, institute name then he store the content on google drive so that it is secure and safe we cannot push the content on his personal gmail id so it's a standard practice <coughs> every institute needs to follow while working the mail id should be provided by the institute only and next topic uh, we are going now i hope everyone uh, can uh, everyone can uh, hear uh, as i can see uh, many of uh, don't have any issue i just checking your comments okay no problem no problem so it seems that everyone is able to uh, see the content okay that's good thing so there's a okay so here now now we uh, i one more thing i would like to tell you we are going to email this uh, youtube uh, session links to you with all the details how will you will get the certificate and all these details so in case any streaming issue you just go bit back side and start it will work perfectly so now these are users means in whatever the users um, uh, means teachers students and uh, uh, you can add the parents also if required so like this way you can create the uh, users here after that groups now here groups in group what happened groups uh, groups then in groups we can see i have created one group i did it this group okay so and i will create i deleted this group here i just creating the new group for you this classroom teacher group is automatically it will it will automatically pop up there you can refresh it group is for you can create the group like you are uh, if there are bsc student you can create the bsc student in the student in this whatever kind of group you can create and you add the people i i create one group here if i want to target uh, consider uh, i'll target the fy fy bsc this group is for fy bsc uh, bsc and fy bsc and i'll mention this group group for f y b s c okay so group email it will say yeah you, you can add the f y b s c and your domain name will be like this okay so group owner so i will skip the uh, if the see if i have already created one user consider ram ram power see you can the user name is already. he is the group owner means he maybe he is a class teacher for this uh for bsc what are the rights you want to provide access type i will give you the public team access announcement only restricted or custom is for this group how you are providing the access so don't worry if you provide the public there is no issue because this group means how you share the content with group okay contact owner few members means if others you don't want to show the group owner group owner or the group details uh, you can unhide this or uncheck this uncheck like this way means group owner can see everything contact owners means if group members can contact they can contact or they cannot contact keep it open so that it's it will be the interactive if you want to share the content add the people externally external people in this group like external gmail ids you can add it here okay manage members you can manage here add invite if you want to invite the people group members can invite other people or uh, group members can approve any invitation request we keep it unchecked means anyone will uh, what happen group members means group general group members are the student okay so depends on you on on your requirement anyone in organization can join yes you can keep it open or you can say anyone in the organization can also if in organization can join can ask to join means they request ki i want to join this or only invited users can join i will say anyone can join other members outside your organization no so we have created one group the group name is fybsc group we have created so 
here group created add members you can see your group details here you just click here or you can create multiple groups no don't worry I means nothing will go anywhere you are to so if you think that you are redirected somewhere you just click on home and you will see the home window here again you, you know key you have created fybsc group and you can see the fybsc group here and there is only one b i, I, I did some spelling mr bsc basc okay no problem so you can add members here and to add the members means you just go in users you can see the users this panel is very important you, you manage the uh, students and teachers from this panel consider ram power is a uh, group owner so raju singh i just add the raju singh in that group okay so i'll go here just go if you click on raju and more and add selected user to group if you want multiple people to in that group i add raju singh and sham kumar in fy bsc first year so add selected user to group it will search to group see here group name is there you just select the group and add these people are the member of this group if you go here in groups you can see in fy bsc we will see the people three members in this group here okay so like this way you can create the group and uh, if you want to view the members you, you can see that uh, manage the members here you can click here and manage to view the members here you can see the members you can add the more members so in this case in fybsc ram power is the class teacher and raju singh and sham kumar are the students now again we go back and see this is like grouping of users and group okay now now <coughs> here you can see group the organization unit see here in organization unit i have created motor institutes you can create first institute is the parent institute and other institutes are child institute you can say consider motor here primary school means these are these are the group for you because there are a single institute and they are having multiple means there is a huge institute having different engineering colleges pharmacy colleges bsc primary high school they can create different organization unit under one uh, main unit so it will be really helpful and they no need to take the another tenant of the g suit so really helpful to them so motor institute uh, created parent organization is motor institute or you can add into the child organization also so okay so primary school means i have created one motor primary school as you can see here it will not quickly pop up you need to refresh then you can see the organization here. so here here uh, sorry it's a primary school uh, primary i just enter the primary don't get confused this is a primary organization is a primary school organization primary school okay so i have updated it here now now here again this is a basic part going home so organization unit you understand what are the different organization you can add remove the organization what is the purpose of the organization so if i go in any uh, group or user say any group or user if you see here this is ram power change the organization unit <coughs> consider he is motor institute i make him as motor arts and science this motor institute's art and science faculty is <coughs> sorry so like this way this i tag this person in that particular institute so you can change the tagging of the people like this so that this sham ram raju and sham kumar i will again tag them here 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 we can see and you can uh, sorry just a moment just a moment just hold on guys okay so here here you can uh, you can see we can change the organization for these people change the organization unit so i assign means they are the part of motors art and science okay and you change it 
this may take there will be the pop of this may take 24 hours to change the organization no need to worry so again home again we are at home so hope you understand how now building in organization there are different building resources are there and those are the very important part of the organization so while building resources in the here also in in some institute they are having conference room meeting room or classrooms or they needs to book that conference hall meeting room they can book that it's like here so i have added consider i have added here meeting space or what you want to add meeting space or other resource means either projector or vehicle i say here i say meeting space so what is the type of meeting space here so before that uh, i say consider this meeting uh, meeting room okay meeting room 12 i and name it as and what what full of see in which building so i have added raigad building here i have added the buildings you can see uh, how we can add i will tell you how uh, in raigad building at the fourth floor this conference room any again sub floor section you can add so resource name what are the resource uh, what is the resource name of this uh, uh, meeting room so we can add its as uh, a meeting room 12 okay so capacity how many people we can 12 people or we can say um, consider a big room at 120 people so how features features first you add here use visible description so you can say what are their projector is there then projector then chairs are there chairs are up there some some issue don't have chairs we need to sit on floor that's a good thing because i used to sit on a uh, down floor while i was in my college life so i like that so sometimes you mention no chair so whatever the description you can put so all of calendar based uh, all of calendar based room release means in, on cal in calendar while booking you, it will you book that room okay add resource so you have added the meeting room to here so here here just a moment so uh, now now manage the building you can see here manage the buildings if you want to add the building you can add any building here say in, in your uh, issue there are multiple buildings you can add the building name say see uh, good okay so i give the name of the floors <coughs> so uh, here at what floor i think it's at the fourth floor and address you can give the more details of, about the building and all those details floors how many floors are there you can say eight floors are there and add building so these are just in the resources of your institute so again i go here and resources now here resources you can add the resources like earlier i have tell you now here building name here is pop here and you can add the multiple resources here now now again we go like this way <coughs> sorry so like this way we can add the resources and resources are here okay so what is this devices the devices is generally i recommend to keep these devices open is through which devices the people can access the content and show you how its device is looking so it's loading just a moment now see here zero mobile devices manage android ios sync device means through which devices you want to but i generally recommend no need to interfere in that in this people can access because if you provide the flexibility means if you want to restrict the people they can access the websites within the organization with the particular uh, system it should not be means they are having limited uh, access for security perspective in organization we restrict people restrict uh, to access the websites or content within organization on particular ip so net <coughs> to avoid that for education domain it's preferred to keep it open so that everyone can go and access the contents anywhere okay so because we give the assignments to student they will access the things from different so apps security reports billing 
no need to worry about um, G Suite will manage everything if you take uh, it will take more time to uh, to explore these things whenever you go in anything any topic you this is a bidding related thing means uh, if you are uh, you are not tied with the google then you need to pay for the google for the g suite application so it's a trial for 14 days as you can see okay now now again i will go back here now i'm um, as we have created as we have created the users here this ram power is a user and he is considered he is the uh, class teacher of fybsc so i'm going to what i'm going to do now i will go here and uh, i will say manage uh, your accounts and i will log in with a ram power and i will show you how we can uh, uh, utilize the G Suite uh, apps here. Okay, so I just RAM power is already there, so that's good. Now I log in here. Close this. So if you see here is logging. RAM power is logging here now. In this case, here uh, we can see. RAM power having different G Suite apps available to explore. Okay, so in G Suite here you can see Gmail, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, Chat, Meet. So these are the important apps used in the G Suite. So what I'm doing, we recommend you we go one by one with the, each uh, app. Okay. So, <coughs> sorry. so first thing uh, this is highly demanding is if you go scroll down the classroom is highly demanding everyone needs to know what is the classroom and how it works. So first I will explore the what is the classroom. So Ram sir, Ram power sir enter into the uh, classroom and see it's validate who uh, first because many people are logged in. So I select the RAM power as uh, here the RAM power. Okay. So RAM power enter here. Now, now here uh, RAM power enter in the classroom. Here in classroom we can see the future classes calendar archive classes in case earlier yeah, anyone you, you have archived so ram power is a class teacher so he go here and he click on classes okay or he go here and here after creating the classes you can see plus sign create or join class now he is going to create the class so what is the class name so he will say fy bsc consider he is going to uh, select the class FYBSC, uh, sorry, math. Okay, so maybe he is uh, physics. Okay, now section. So, so if there is any further section in the classroom. If you say yes, in classroom, say in physics part one, subject physics. I say physics education or room means you want to give any uh, room name you can give him like physics room so in this classroom I create the class okay FYBSC for physics student or you can keep see you can create class for standard wise means particular division wise also I just created subject wise no problem so we go here now it's creating the class for me okay now now here see if you selected the physics it will automatically take the it will automatically take the 
uh, themes related to the physics okay so now here f5 physics the important thing is class code okay you just need to if you click it will show the class code you just need to you just need to share this class code with the student so that they can join the class okay or you need to you, if you have any meeting you just generate the meet link you just click here it will create the link you need to share this link with the student and student can directly join the uh, this uh, google meet okay so like this way we'll uh, copy it okay and uh, as you save it's saved okay now now here you can see there are four types stream classwork people and grades okay so stream here in stream you can create for a higher ps student all student yes all student okay but we did not add any student so how we can add the student we need to go in people and add the student so i will add the student here and i have the student sham let me check sham dot kumar is one student then there is a raju is i think so you just go in a list here raju singh you see raju singh i have created a student so i add the raju singh here raju singh motor trackers dot com motor trackers our institute name is motors institute because of our domain name is that that's why we have taken our institute name as a motors so i inviting them so i invited these two people here okay and their teacher is ram power is the teacher okay so we go here this is a communication like our uh, facebook st whatsapp status is you this is a communication you can keep adding the communi your communication related things here so consider uh, he wants to add we are planning to conduct unit test next week on fifth june like this way he just posted something which is just post means uh, and if if i just miss you just put we are planning to conduct unit test for next week on fifth june okay so you can go here you can edit it if you miss that if you want to give some information you please you please check attachment for attachment of resources okay so if you have any uh, attachment means any informative message to give him or it's on your google drive or any file on your or uh, desktop you just you can upload it from your select the file from your device and you select consider um, uh, i want to this is a chapter method survey study something is there so i will just attach it and it will get uploaded here okay and you say upload it takes some time to upload and it's quickly get uploading after uploading if you it if you can see it here if you want to add any image or anything or you want to give the user okay, we are going to conduct the unit test on this but these are the resources i have attached you the study that resources that <coughs> that will be used to <coughs> use for your uh, unit test so you, if you have any google youtube link you can you can copy the youtube link and paste it there consider any youtube link for it that topic you, you can give the youtube link also consider uh, consider uh, any youtube link i just uh, copy this link okay you want your videos to and, look and i paste that uh, links here sorry uh, where 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 we are okay so um, link sorry not link here we say uh, youtube as a source so means many times there are many informative resources available on youtube i really appreciate the youtube okay so you just click on that no no video found think uh, just a moment say youtube 
x so i'll let see this video and i copy that i just share and this copy this link okay and close this close this it's creating noise so i paste it here and select okay so no video found video search this url so here it found the video so i select and add this video here okay this video selected no longer this the owner may have removed it okay No, why it's not taking? Okay, no problem. You just post pull, pull the YouTube video in your case. It maybe it will work. Okay, so <clears throat> to whom you are see if because recently you have added two students, that's why those students are not here. You want to share with all student, you can share or you can select the student. It will pop up. It will take some time to select the individual users because recently you have added. So you just save this material here. Okay, after saving this material, the notification will go to you, the students, those are in this uh, student list. You can add the parents in this list so that parents also came to know that there will be the unit test conducted by the RAM power and they can see that. Okay, so here, here now, now again, uh, so, uh, here I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, there are some uh, messages. Some people are saying they are individual uh, and they wants to purchase the go with the domain. I suggest go with your individual email ID and take the individual email ID from students. And but you cannot see the your admin console over there. You just need to manage the things uh, from your particular email id classroom if you don't have any domain okay that will be also helpful but uh, the case is that in that uh, you uh, security uh, concerns will be there so you you can use the you can go with the uh, g suit education or you can go with your personal individual email id in case you don't have and you can explore this functionality by creating the classroom no, you don't have any problem. But instead of having people in institute, we need to manage the people, teachers and students. That's why. For individual, no problem. So now here, we are here now. I created here RAM power. He added some uh, details. So now I will open the another window here. I open. So I close the, this thing. I close the uh, remaining thing. And now I will check who is this uh, RAM power. See, who is that user? So see. Sham Kumar, he is a student. So now I refresh it. See, FYBSC physics part one. Hi, here Ram Kumar invited you to. So now I have just recently added this student here. So I can join the classroom here. And after joining the classroom, after the joining the classroom, Sham Kumar is the student, is the part of that classroom. So I will go here and check. See, I can see Ram Power added something for me. If you can make it interactive, you can make so is a sham. He is a student. Again, I am telling this user is a sham. He is a student. He just see the who are people. He just sees his teacher name. He don't see the his uh, students classwork. Anyone is not assigned. So he is a student. That's why he can see only this part. Okay. So he go here and now his email ID is the motortrackers.com Sham Kumar is the student. So now if you want to say something here, hi sir, uh, the, the contents are informative, please share exam schedule. Okay. So, sorry. So, like this way, this is interactive. He just posts the message. So, Ram Power, Ram Power is logging here in Google window. I will go here in Ram Power's window. So, <coughs> here is the Ram Power window. If we refresh this window, actually, no need to refresh. It will automatically pop up. But 
<coughs> we don't have that much time. See, you can see this is the RAM or RAM or CS. The comment is coming from student. Students are working. So it's an interactive interaction between the student and the teacher. So you can put the content like this way. Okay. So <coughs> meet link. Uh, tomorrow, if you want to think that okay, I want to conduct the session with the student, I will show you how we can meet the link. Before that, I will we go here in class one. So, if you want to ask, give some assignment to student, this is just a this is just a communication. This, this is just a front end of your stream. Is just a front end of your Google Classroom here in class one. So here I go. I select here create. So you can create an assignment. You can create the quiz. These are or you can post the material, okay, whatever. So I will go here quiz assignment, okay. So if I want to assign any quiz, so I'll say physics, physics unit test, okay. So quiz means means you are conducting the exam with the student. You, you know, provide the instruction, uh, whatever the instruction you want to give while giving the exam. Don't do the copy with other. Don't copy paste content from the Google and like that. Okay, but uh, there is here yeah, there is one loophole in uh, uh, online uh, is we cannot conduct the exam because uh, there means people can cheat and I mean, students can cheat and copy the content. We cannot stop this because even though means it's a difficult thing because someone author also and teachers cannot uh, connect one to one with online while uh, students are giving the exam. For that purpose, there is only one option. They need to set the uh, webcam in their every student needs to set up the webcam at their home and he need to give the exam. The teacher will observe how it he is giving exam. But it is not a possible thing at all. <coughs> so so here we can give here create and here it's it's open the Google form. It's open the uh, Google form here blank quiz. You just click on that. If <coughs> you are conducting the exam if there are any informative material you want to provide the student, you can uh, provide the materials to the student from your devices or on my drive. Is there any in the classroom folder? I don't have any material. So uh, I think this material, um, are you, if there is any material, you can share or you can uh, upload the material. Okay. So I'll, I have existing, so I'll upload this existing material. Got it. Share student can view the files. Okay, student can edit the files, make a copy of each student. If you allow him to make the copy of each student, means student can edit the file. It depends on you how you want to provide the. Now here you can see how many points exam. You can change the points due date within this this date. You need to submit the exam. You just give uh, second June. You need to fill complete the exam and topic create the topic. I say create topic name is physics test this is the topic okay uh, <coughs> rubric rubric is the uh, this, this feature is not means uh, rubric is this feature we can apply the rubric means add to analyze the answer but uh, I suggest don't use because Google itself analyzed it so we go and uh, if you want to assign it this uh, test is night right, right now or you want to schedule maybe if you say to, um, uh, at the 12 12 or 1 a.m. morning this test in in the uh, students inbox at 1st June you can schedule like this also okay or you can or you can say cancel and assign it immediately you see here now here you can see Sham Kumar I have added now you can see the student here okay now here there's only one student in your uh, he um, in your uh, Classroom, so I save this as a draft. Okay, so I'll add one more student. You can add any student, many number of student. You go here. So I go here. User list. Raju Singh is one more one of the student here. So Raju Singh is disabled. I think there is action email. I remove him maybe earlier. Okay, okay. Actually, Raju Singh is already invited, but he is invited, but he did not accepted the invitation like Sham Kumar. Okay, he did not join it, it not join the course. So, we need to inform the Raju, please join the course. If you go log in, and here you can see sorry, 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 I missed this. Here, 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 like this way, Raju received the email invitation. 
class invitation you need he need to join the raju and of course send him so raju also receive the same send him he need to join that like this way you can join and again we go in the class work our class work is in the draft physics text is in a draft again we go and we work on that so no need to keep the files and all those things save in your desktop again check or if there are two teachers in your class so you can assign the responsibility other teachers simultaneously can work on this test also so we go here again we go on here and say edit edit here now i will assign the text test to the student before that what i am doing i will log in with the raju singh as well so that we came to know that how two people will interact okay so i will go with the raju singh melody there raju 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 where is the raju Raju dot sing at the rate motor trackers institute name motor tracker motors is our institute and Raju is going to log in okay so Raju's password I have entered the Raju's password while creating the user it automatically save the password on their personal email id okay so now I go to here you can see invited the FIBSC and Raju is also going going to join the RAM search classroom okay so Raju is also going to join and if you go here in our main uh, here I select uh, Raju's Raju Raju Singh now see yeah, he is going to Raju Singh's classroom Raju Singh see the he is join the class join yes he is going to join or if they don't have an uh, invitation teacher can send the joining code to the uh, students okay so Raju can create the post a student also can create the post it depends on policy how policies are set okay so this is a classroom and student cannot see the uh, joining code it's visible to the teacher only so again I'm, I'm moving towards the sorry here uh, with the teacher dashboard okay so and now i'm saying assign assign this exam assign means that email notification goes to the raju and ram now they came to know some exam is assigned to us again i go here it takes some time to come in the inbox email okay okay so if we go here if we check here see here <coughs> this is a this is the Raju Singh Raju Singh Ram Power posted physics test unit test Ram Power posted a new assignment physics unit test okay so now Raju what Raju will do Raju will do here Raju go here and check that what is this test okay so but one more thing we missed that we did, did not set the questions in our questionnaires okay so don't worry just go here okay and uh, what i am doing i am here i will go here physics test okay go in stream where is this physics test now power service login in his window now instruction and here see edit now questionnaires are not set by this sir so sir will go here or now already invitations sent to the uh, students so again now i will set the questionnaires physics question say here edit so ram power sir is doing uh, his questionnaires here so he will say physics unit test he describe more details so he will say we need for the length and he gives the option now i will discuss on that centimeter kg milliliter or liter okay so 
you just give the example you need for length if you have multiple choices you can set the multiple choice here okay so here if you want any other options you want to short answer or checkbox or drop down you can set here you can skip the answer key here answer is uh, centimeter okay if you, you put the multiple answers here if means either he gave this answer or this answer depends on that so how many points you want to assign say this for this we are assigning the five points add answer feedback answer feedback means if an incorrect answer you want to give him suggestion so you can describe him the all the units for uh, length length uh, length it's in centimeters kilometer or meter length that is length then uh, so if there is a uh, liquid so you can say liters so like this way you describe if if he answer the correct you just appreciated it him okay if you want uh, if you want to just justify or you want to give the video details on more information about the units uh, measurement units you can give him the link or details okay so like this way you provide the answers to the <coughs> depends on his you can set this answer answer key also okay now again next question if you want to give the uh, take the answer in a number of lines answer okay short answer so you want to give the um, you want to assign the question like uh, uh, in physics um, say if you will say um, write write down the just a moment guys write down the write down the law of gravity okay student will write down the and you can select if you want an answer related to if you want answer should contain means gravity then add a correct answer means gravity earth then that will be the correct answer right so just the suggestions you put or mark all answers to if the mark all answers incorrect no means if this kind of word in that uh, description then you can put same way like above you can put the feedback so like this way you can mark this as the required answer should be given by the student so like this way you can put the suggestions informations if you want any image you can put the any image so make it more interactive you can put the image in your uh, test also okay so now here here we go and uh, post the image of camera it will take my capture cam my my photo so if you have any uh, upload you want to upload any image i'll upload any image say our google for image it takes some time to upload okay so i have added the image for this session or you keep click here so it's looking good if image is there so so like this way you have created your test for that okay now here responses for any responses there's no response from anyone okay now uh, again we we'll go in settings so limit to response one student can reply only once okay now next thing is edit after submit no see summary chart no so presentations show progress bar show shuffle questions means if the questionnaire is will get shuffle uh, depends on the student to student if you have access then first question if there are 10 20 question you can add okay here <coughs> quiz option okay there is a quiz locked more of chromebook no need to worry about uh, this information related to you if you want i am going to conduct a deep dive of this session next uh, sometime okay and the invitation will be sent to you so here total 10 points you can see 
now because I have given 5 this question to 5 and this question to 5 we have added to question and here response now now again I go here in physics test my question is submitted and I go here and save save here I missed the name just a matter here I oh sorry control Z control A control C and name the questionnaire is physics questionnaire physics unit test okay now here here you can see physics unit test will be clicked here now actually we have keep the point I will keep it point to 10 only because we have we have two questions only one grade actually the exam is going on that's why I am not able to edit it now again I will go to the Raju Raju now Raju will refresh okay. Raju is here and Raju is going to attend the physics unit test here okay so Raju click here Raju say a uh, unit for the length it's a centimeter or write down the law of gravity I use the word gravity earth gravity I use the word so I'm not I don't know the answer so I submit this okay means my view score open assignment view score you can do the correct okay gravity correct see both the answer feedback is correct both answer because we have key one the uh, answer key with this okay and we got the out of marks open assignment you will open the assignments okay even though if if he gave the incorrect answer then there is a uh, again I will open the Raju's account actually there are many accounts are open that's why it asked me to log in again and again now here we can see <coughs> okay Raju is uh, completed the exam and he he mark is as a mark as a done okay means he marked this exam as a done actually you need to guide the students how to if you click again this exam he will not able to fill the exam again see you score you have already uh, given this exam that pop up will there okay i close this raju's details from here now now see here new assignment i have told you the email will come with delay take some delay so i close all these mails okay now I close this close this also so this is a physics unit test okay this is a, our Shamsar's account okay now we have already saved this okay I close this Ram sir Ram power sir now Ram Ram sir see if you go and refresh it here now if I go in student work I will see who completed the assignment and still pending with uh, whom okay so here turn in See, I think I, I know the Raju completed, but Sham still not uh, work out assigned and turning means now it's come to me to test that. So I will say out of marks to him because he gave one. So here, here one loophole in the form. There is no direct connection with the forms and this here. Okay. So actually there is one button is there, import button is there, but this button is not provided here. Uh, import button import button is not here if import button is there if you purchase actually this is a trial version if you purchase the license copy then import button is there it fetch the content from the form now i will go on form ui i check the response yes this is there is a response okay now i will go and i'll ask our clever student uh, mr sham singh sham singh also received the unit test now Sham, sorry, uh, what is his name? Sham Kumar. He go here, open it. Sham Kumar is one of the clever student. Now see. Now 
Sham came to know exam is there. If Sham don't attend the exam or he want to give some comment or he want to give some reason, he can put. He, he go here. Okay. Now, right C. Questions are shuffle. Images are going to shuffle with that. Okay. So, see, first question is here. So, he say mm, no. And here he say KG. And submit. Okay. Now, now here he go and you score. Hey, write down the so correct answer gravity and earth. So student no he feedback <coughs> feedback he enter the correct answer is CM and feedback is this is the details for the sense. Okay, he feel that and he close this. He will go here and mark is as a done. Okay, means Sham here Sham. And Raju both completed his their assignments. Again, we go. I close this tab. Again, I go here. You can see two response received here. Now, now teacher. The teacher role is to give the answers. Okay. So he go here. Question. Question number one. Okay. Okay. So depends on teacher. If you want, he say mark. Yes. Teacher say mark. Yes. Correct. Okay. He say yes. Okay. And and save this. Miss teacher will correct the answers, okay? And here, see, see, see here. The question number one. Teacher can answer the all those questionnaires, okay? Teacher will answer means uh, what we say. Check all the answers. Those are correct. Against question means he or if he think that he needs to go with the answer sheet of individual, then he need to click here and go with this answer sheet of who who did write this answer sheet. Teacher don't know who write this answer sheet. Okay, he just check that answer sheet. Again, he go next level and he check the answer sheet. Okay, this is great. Okay, okay. He he give the marks now. Say one mark. Okay. It's again here two marks. Okay, and he save here. It's like this way. You can check the individual basis or you can check it by the question wise basis. Okay. So like this way. See another question. And teacher answer the only means teacher check the questions. Now, now, now everything is okay. Everything is here. Teacher can directly mark the <coughs> answer to here. See, it's coming to the teachers. Teacher say, Sham, uh, you are fail. Okay, so like this way, you mark the score to <coughs> him and they will get the notification. Okay, so like this way, teacher conduct the physics unit test. Now, again, I go in physics. So, again, I go in form. And here it's a very important tab. Create the spreadsheet. Okay, and you say physics unit test response, and you can say create. Now, once you create the uh, okay, so see here your score is here. Your score is here. You can see here. See here, score is here, but you did not see the name of the student because we did not capture that property but how we can capture that property you just need to go here settings and here collect email address okay and response to recipient if uh, responded request always okay so this kind this needs to be tick mark then it will give us the here email if i refresh it If I refresh it, see email address is there. So depends on email, you will get all the details here. You can capture his name and all those details. Okay. So now the confusion is here. Uh, this is a, sorry. This email address is here. It will come uh, whenever they submit the details. Now, now the thing is that now the thing is that if <coughs> now like this way you conduct the exam tomorrow you want to send the result to them you can send the result to them it's an easy task easy and you just need to fill the sheet and mark that sheet send result ready it will automatically trigger the result to each one okay so i will tell you how it works okay first we complete this so i hope Classroom, uh, Google Classroom, you understand. We have conducted the quiz for that. Okay. Now, Ramsar will uh, 
if you want to return to anyone if you select and if you if you return this for uh, sham kumar ki answer correct so you return to the sham sham will sham kumar will receive the uh, notification here and if you go here again that request come uh, means teacher again return his the response in his queue so i can refresh it his email this email is sham kumar's email i go here you can see she commented okay so answer correct now his time is to reply okay so he will go here this teacher say he answer the correct so he need to resubmit it okay so he will go here now this score is already generated now what we did uh, what we did here sorry here uh, where is the that form actually this is a, a ram form he already built an exam if you want to give him chance again to fill the exam you need to go here in forms here you need to remove this limit to the response then he can submit his answer again okay again i will go here and refresh it i close his remaining tab because it's confusing to us okay and he will refresh it he is a sham kumar now he give the physics unit test this time he will give the correct answer so like this way he will submit the answer sheet okay and he can because we are we shown the score if you want to check it manually there is option to check it manually as well okay i will show you because we have automatically correct the answer and inform to the student okay and now this is resubmit like this way his assignment is resubmitted here just a moment it takes some time to resubmit let's hang out wait. okay mark as done okay so resubmitted now again here we see the three response form now teacher will see the three response and if we go in classroom again see here sham singh so you can see turn in so again it comes into the teacher's queue to mark it okay and teacher again go here and give him the score proper score okay so like this way so if you do the hands on of this activity then uh, it will uh, clarify all your doubts and concerns when you we will do the conduct any test i will close now classroom session okay i close the, all the classroom sessions because we are moving towards the next topic now here now email is captured earlier it was not there now we enable it okay so if you want to email the result to the student so what do i do but here there are not more details so what i do I just close this we'll go here ram sir this is the ram sir okay so this is a ram sir g suit account ram sir click here okay now in ram sir queue here you can see drives docs sheet slide and calendar okay so in classroom also we'll conduct the meeting now i'll show you why is that <coughs> sorry again now here select our favorite teacher ram pawar sir ram pawar Here we'll check. 
I click here. This is a classroom. We can create multiple classrooms. Okay, no need to worry about it. So you want to conduct the meeting. Okay. Yes, you can see the grades of the student also. This is just it visible. You can see the grades here. Now I will show you the answers here. Now calendar. There is no event. Okay, so again Ramsar will go in classes. See ya. Now he click here. meeting invite so in spite of sending the meeting from classroom i will recommend you to go here go into the calendar okay it will open the new tab and this is a google meet or you can just copy this and give the time on this time so like this dear students Dear students, our Google Meet Meet details for tomorrow. You can provide this, and you can say it will send. See. To show if you want to uh, don't want to uh, take all stone, you can just select the particular one and you will post it. Okay, or you can uh, schedule it. Let's save. Okay, now again I go here. Here now I have sent invite to them. Now here I came to the came to the calendar of the Ramsar. Okay, I just shown you. The one way of the sending the uh, scheduling the Google Meet details. Okay, so this notification is also sent to the here students. It takes some time, guys. So just I refresh. Okay, it will come because recently I have updated. Now here, what I do. I will go in calendar of our Ram Power Sir. Okay, so I want to schedule the meeting for consider here. Mm, it's June. I assign here third of June. Okay, like this pop up will appear and you say discussion on next online. Teaching sessions. Means what is what is the topic you have? So here, here this is the time. So if you want, if entire day you keep as it is. If you want to put the time, so if you say here, say uh, morning eleven a.m. Just a moment, guys. Please. Just to, <coughs> there are some queries. Please, lastly, shows flow the Gumball teachers study communication and communication. Teacher student communication. So, actually, this is a classroom. Uh, okay. Please complete one task at a time and teach me part of the student side. Please don't jump. 
clear picture okay so <coughs> we'll conduct this now how the meeting is scheduled here so there are two way one is you can directly put the google meet and here you can schedule the meeting okay now 11 30 and you can put the time 11 to here 1 pm okay now now see you can add the guest here now here very important thing like you know as we have created the uh, bsc i think physics you can see fy bsc physics part one B this is our this is our classroom name right so i click this classroom okay so no need to in, uh, invite individually it will directly send 250 participants at a time if you purchase the license then it account goes to the 1000 participant add room okay so earlier as i have shown you you are going to book the room here so if you click here and you want the Pratapgad room or Raigad room you can select meeting room 12 from Raigad you are going to book that for this session okay some people can join with google meet or some people can join with the directly physically come to the this Raigad fourth number meeting room okay so like this way here there are many tabs are here out of office if anyone is out of office decline is what you want to reminder sent to them if you want the reminder today daily you will it will send the reminder any task the task appointment slot okay this slot means uh, this slot is a mark in your calendar means no one will take your appointment it's for for the people those are conducting the appointment with, with visit for that purpose this appointment slot so we have put here all these details now now we'll we'll save this and it will send the invite to all the students okay so as you can see discussion on see i have seen the invite to the all the students so what i do now i'll go you show you see new announcement this recently google meet announcement we have added student can connect from here or recently we posted let me check it's there or not because mail takes some time but if you go in the shams calendar now i'm checking shams calendar it takes some time i'll go in monthly view see discussion on next week online okay so this is he will directly click here if he is online he directly go and click here and he will connect download the chrome plugin and all this because it's in google chrome okay and he directly connect to this session and it's a really simple thing okay so now here again i will go into the answer and here this discussion this event you have created you can share you can share this event like this email guests and or what we can do i suggest you if you want to put some details here again you are going to send the email to the guests okay uh, link where is that link share link there is some share link is also there i'm checking here okay successfully copied to the clipboard okay and you can put at your stream here in our student meeting student discussion 
okay and you can put the name and all those test time and all those things here so that student will connect to it okay with your classroom so this is about the classroom model okay <clears throat> now there are some questions I'll take some questions uh, one question is is attendance model is available or can be integrated with the Google suit so depends on how you conduct the attendance so if I the attendance module is not there in G suit as of now but it will in coming version G suit will definitely add that module now uh, and there are different plugins are there if you want the module G suit plugins are there you can use that plugin for attendance and those are the three plugins the amount of the purchasing of G suit is depends on how you will tie up with the Google many times what happens if you collaborate with the Google Google will provide you the G suit up to 1000 users free of cost without any cost so it depends on how you collaborate with the Google and how you connect with the Google our telegram channel and whatsapp uh, telegram channel link will share okay uh, our uh, representative will share you okay so few more comments our recorded video link will be emailed to you so don't worry about it okay so now we'll move ahead yeah, Ram sir, our favorite Ram Bhavar sir is our favorite teacher. Now, we are going to explore the different uh, modules in here Google uh, G Suite. Now you know the uh, drives. I'll go into drives. I'll quickly uh, cover the drive. <coughs> drive is the Google drive. You need no need to keep the files and folders in your. Uh, uh, in, in your local local drive you can directly access the files and folders from the uh, google drive okay so how, how see you can see my unit test and all those details are created here you can click here on physics unit test and you can work on that now the important thing is that you can share the content the sharing and collaboration is a very important many times what happened uh, in um, organization they needs to many organization i saw they needs to create the student uh, mark sheet details fill the mark sheet details capture the mark sheet inputs from different uh, subject teacher so how you will do that and how you can generate the results from those mark sheet so i will quickly show you how we can do that okay and results will quickly email to the particular respective student so i will show you will Google doc Google sheet okay so blank sheet here you take the blank sheet and Ram Pavarsar what he is doing he is going to create FYBSC he is a class teacher so FYBSC mark collection so guys here he create one list here and he will enter first name full or you can directly capture the full name of student no problem now full name so it will be fully automate if you capture the all details or store all details in google classroom it will really helpful to you okay and you can directly copy and paste spreadsheet from there here full name then uh, his roll number then subject consider here I'll say roll full num full name roll number then here math mark 
फिजिक्स मार्क केम मार्क एंड एंड हियर फिजिक्स मैथ केम and here i say total okay so after that his full name is ram kumar roll number is 12 generally teachers having all these details ram sir is the mathematics teacher so he enter his details okay he will enter his details 78 marks okay so you can uh, provide the validations value calculations to this okay you know how to use the calculations and all those things it's a really simple because it takes some more time to cal tell you the how to calculate the field and how to okay ram kumar now what what he did ram kumar then sham singh then his roll number 34 then sneha shinde I just give the random names, sixty-seven. Then, okay. And Ram sir is the math teacher, so he fill their details, forty-five. Okay, and sixty-five. Okay. So physics and chemistry. There is other other teacher. Okay, there is another teacher who work on physics and chemistry. There are other other teachers. Okay. So what we do? We just share this uh, sheet with uh, physics teacher. So what I do? I'll go here. Just a moment. I'll show you because I create another window here. Just a moment. Just a moment. Actually. G should add me console. I will add other teachers also. So here. so here users now in users what i am doing i will add one more add new user here means he is a teacher so i will add here tushar tushar party Okay, so I keep this mail ID simple. Tushar Patil is in his organization. You can add him in any organization. Okay, save Tushar Patil secondary email or phone number and all those details. His secondary email to receive the uh, details of user ID password automatically generated password. No, I will enter his password here. I will say Tushar simple password so that. If you will say automatically, generally you need to keep the automatically generated password so that it will help them. It will a uh, breach means avoid the security breach. Okay, I have created new user to share at the rate motor tigers. Okay, so I will copy this to share. I just created one user here. Okay, so don't get uh, just understand. I just directly redirected. Again, again we are, again we return back to our sheet, and I add Tushar as a teacher. He can edit the marks. Those are you can give the notes also. The Tushar will edit the physics marks. Okay, so I just share this file with Tushar. Okay, so now our Tushar will work on physics and chemistry. So what he do? He just go. He log in. I will go. 
and login with the Tushar here in this window. Okay, I'll go and enter Gmail and uh, another user. Confused whenever you are doing the hands on, then it will be really helpful to you. It asks us because this is normal Google Gmail to not ask you this type of details because we are going through the uh, going through the uh, G Suite tenant, that's why it's asking to me. Okay, so I refresh it. See here, he share invited to edit means he received the email and he will what he do? He go here, he open in that sheet and check that how and he fill the details. Means Tushar sir is going to fill the detail 67, then he fill the mass 56 and okay. They are part of the organization so that we can share the details. Okay, and history of all these details are tracked. Okay, while editing, while Tushar sir editing the content, same time Ram Pawar sir can see Tushar is Tushar Patil is doing something here. If you show you Tushar Patil enter 56 quickly within a second, 56 reflect here on Ram sir's screen. Okay. And again, to shall sir go here and enter 30. Okay, so like this way, we fill the mark details here, and those are means simultaneously we collaborate with multiple people and share the sheet with multiple people. Means there is a no paperwork directly, she will share the sheet with them and they enter fill the mask details. Okay, and here you can add the addition formula here now. Some Sorry. Okay, it directly sum the mark here now. Okay, so marks are populated here. Now actually to share apply the formula, no problem. Actually uh, again I go again I go here. Okay, so Ramsar can see the mass details. Ramsar is the class teacher of FYPSC. Now Ramsar wants to generate the result of this. Okay, so while generating the result, how he will generate the result? Okay. Now Ramsar is also going to generate the result. Okay. Now here he mark. Uh, result and what he do I created one other column result name the result now how you will create the uh, what I'm saying how you will create the result from this okay just few comments are here okay thank you sir okay very nice okay now how you will create it will save you a lot of work okay so first thing how you can create the go into the google drive our ram power sir here this should ram power sir here what he do he go here click here and how you want to present the as an image or as an attachment how so if you say ki i want you go here and you can say present means you are you need to create one template over here okay so i'll say here result template result template okay so result template is here ready so how you can do that okay so here i delete the I'll rename it you can delete or rename it okay i say the result and enter and here in double quote I write first or full name I say full name okay 
now here see you know here I will minimize this actually I zoom the screen that's why there are many options are erased here you have to click, click here minimize the side okay control X I'll delete it delete this also insert text box I enter here text box okay and you enter result for your y bsc what okay. your, your school name font size bold is center realign okay now you can insert another thing now now uh, what i uh, suggest you result here again the name and roll number here roll number and in double tag i will zoom it just a moment roll number and name how it will work will, i know you are not able to see uh, let me zoom it sorry i will zoom it Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, let's see. Let me zoom out. I need to change the font size. Okay, so how you like this way you put the name and roll number here and now we want to display the uh, result so how you can display the result here you insert here table how many subjects physics chemistry math and total okay like this okay and you here Physics, game, math, and total. Sorry, sorry, guys. Now, here, bold it, size increase, and here I tag physics put the tag came put the tag sorry math and put the tag total like this way you put the information fill the information here let me maximize the size it okay so you put this name and result uh, just a plain simple way okay now template is ready now i'll go here now you want to uh, give the results now go here adding here get add-ons select add-ons so in here you can see autocrat just search here autocrat add-on autocrat Autocrat here. After selecting the Autocrat, you just need to install it. Uh, here, install tab is there. Continue. Now, after this, I'll say uh, who owned that. Say uh, actually, the we need to oh, who is the owner? Our uh, Ram Pawar sir is the owner. So his password. Oh, his password is right.
after entering the password okay it take it you need to say hello means this adding wants to access your google drive all the contents okay google drive it will not access your all the contents while accessing it asks you the permission which you need to select that particular things so i said done i close this go here in adding you say autocrat is here open that Try Google Drive. Refuse to connect. Wait. Just hold on. Again, I will go here. Add-ons. Open. What is the issue? Drive Google dot com. Refuse to connect. Drive Google dot com. There is some issue. Just getting it lucky. Drive Google at all right. Just wait. I will refresh it. Again, I will go here. Some issue. Okay. Okay. No problem. Oh, what is the issue? What I do? Mm, I copy this spreadsheet as it is. Okay. Sorry. I don't know why it's facing some this kind of issue. Uh, open. Google.com refuse to connect. Maybe our trial version may be impacting. Okay, don't worry. I will show you now what I can do. I will log in with someone else. Login ID. ETS. Okay, I will log in this ID. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I will show you how to do that. Okay, I log in with uh, and I go in trials. Maybe our Google Suite is a trial. That's why it's not allowing us to the drive access. Okay, so what I do? I will go here. Result template. Uh, copy this template as it is. Okay, and here I create one folder, folder, and name is the result. Okay, create somewhere that folder. There are many files are there now. Result folder is okay. So I paste it or I'll create this right here. Okay, I delete this content. Don't get diverted. Whatever we did earlier, I just copied it as it is. Control C and I go in this side. Okay, I copied as it is. Okay, now discard about the alignment and all. Don't think on it. Okay. Okay. So this is my result template. I make it as a result. Then okay. After is making this result as a template. Now I'll go here. I go here and 
recent files refresh it against okay result template is here okay and I move to show folder move to make a copy I say I move to I move this result folder to result folder okay okay move here move to result Okay, no problem. Our result template is there now. Template is created now. I what I do, I'll create the sheet here. New sheet here. As earlier, we have created the sheet blank spreadsheet, and in that, again, I will copy the content of our FIBSC due to some Google Drive issue. We will write it here. Okay, <coughs> no need to panic. I say F Y B S C result. Okay, now F Y B S C result. Again, okay, I go in addings. Autocrat is there. I say launch. Let me see. Or we need to add. Okay, same issue is here also. Let me remove this adding. Manage add-ons. Now refresh it. Now add it. Get add on. If this, uh, I'm facing the issue with the add on right now. Again, I install it. Continue. In case we do not work out on it, I definitely share the video of that add ons. I will enter the email ID. Mayuris.chawan and I enter the password here. Next. Here it will take the permission to access the content. I say hello. No connection. Level ID. Hello. Check now. Hello. 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 Okay, guys. Again. Uh, connected due to some technical issues it was disconnected so uh, we are in a result section but somehow uh, we did not uh, we are facing some issue and what I tell you I will check and put one video in next week on that so don't worry uh, on, on worry about it okay so apologize for that because uh, I'm not able to present it in front of you so next thing uh, yeah here we are documents and in this document uh, we can share the document create a document with existing template but while creating a document in organization we need to create the brochures for your any events and all that so we can take a template and start working while working you can share and collaboratively work like our excel so i will share with this to tushar or person he 
and you can mention him collab re uh, sorry uh, we'll mention him we work on uh, on college brochure sorry guys this is totally mistake here okay so uh, we give him the aid access and send him when tushar will start working when we we'll go with to the tushar with tushar see tushar is logged here and this is the tushar's email id tushar will receive the notification for that the file is shared with you for editing see we he received the the name is petrizumi sorry uh, the name we did not change so he go here and he they both are collaboratively start working on the document and he say okay i understand it and he say here he change the name to brochure okay and you can start working collaboratively on document you can insert the images files okay and if you are if you want the image then you can say upload from computer okay and pictures uh on box oh, sorry mm. desktop any image is there so we have certificate formats so this time we are giving you the very nice certificate and uh, here he just added one image here certificate image here now when to share sir uh, sorry when here a ram power sir is go scroll down he can see the image means these two guys and he put some text here nice image and uh, this you collaboratively perform the task and work on the same file there is no multiple versions of the documents and use the same copy and multiple people will work you inform him today you work on that tomorrow you start working on no need to share the file you just need to click here and share the file or if you want to share this content with a uh, multiple audience you can say can you and this copy this link and here go here and advance anyone can view anyone anyone can view this this link means you just share the link anybody in the within organization outside organization they can view the file or anything in your organization that one you need to expose publicly you just put that link and every student every people everyone can nowadays if you want to share the college uh, and your brochure you just put on drive and share with the anyone okay so this is related to the doc file sheet file same way sheet file discuss on that later so i put one session for the uh, result slide already explained with you now here using the share meet meet is a very important as earlier i just we scheduled the meeting with the meet but here meet is a really important join or start meeting if you are in meeting id you can start the meeting or if you want to you are not allowed to schedule the meeting from here to schedule the meeting you always need to go here in calendar and create the event then only your event will create it and people will join if you have any people will join your meeting so last time i just have shown you we have created this event discussion with the meeting right so if you copy it here copy this link here and i go here and start joining i paste it here and continue let me see it's a joining the meeting so it takes because this meeting date is a, a old date but still we can start the meeting so it take your camera you can copy the camera means uh, so here and you can you can say join now if you want to present you can present the means if you want to present something in this meeting you just say here present now you can see here present now you can say present your entire screen 
means you are sharing your entire screen with other participants okay so you are sharing your entire screen with other participants now now see now you have shared your entire screen with other participant as i can see here there are two participants see ram powers are initiated you can add other participant from here also this meeting is a next week meeting but still i can say i will add tushar sir in this meeting so that they can collaboratively discuss meeting and see tushar send email now email goes to the tushar okay so it will send the email to the tushar i will go to the tushar screen where is tushar is login here so in chrome tushar is login here tushar tushar will go in his email check his inbox say see join meeting he just say yes i want to join the meeting with the ram power sir okay see we are not on google chrome that's why it's not showing me so it uh, what i'm doing i copy this link okay and i will open other window here and here i paste it here and i will invite the tushar here here is ram power and tushar add another tushar i'll create is another account and i will enter tushar at the rate our motor institute and enter the password okay now see i have entered the tushar details here see uh, now i open now tushar can join the meeting because we he joining from google chrome now okay so see tushar is also going to join the is join the meeting okay now here i will go he say uh, ask to join see yeah? now go here see here pop up oh, someone wants to join okay wait a uh, it's not tushar sorry stop sharing to share it there and actually many ids are logging on the system wait switch account and to share will to share will join the party will join okay now okay he said join now to share is live there now there is a echo there is a echo in sound in sound because uh, konshar and godar simultaneously join join if i go here go here and and see now he is going to present now now he is going to present the entire screen okay the entire screen share okay. and he share. open this window and if, if they want to discuss if they want on this topic they directly go on that topic directly go on that and i will go here i will go here Just a moment. Just a moment. Actually, he shared. Actually, he shared. Oh, Ram Power Sir. Ram Power Sir. Okay. Okay, he share now. He share now. See, actually, what I want, I want to miss one pop up. One pop up. You say present see, now. Present now. Your entire your screen. Entire screen. Click here. Here. Share. Share. Okay. Okay. Now, now you, are you are discussing on result. Are discussing on result. Okay. Result. Okay. Now you now go. You go. See. See. Here. Here. Ram Power is Ram presenting is to him. Him. And now it's now displaying, displaying screen, screen within the screen, screen because, because we are on the same screen. Screen. That's why, that's why Ram, Ram, there are multiple, multiple images are there. Yeah. So uh, uh, now, if now if, if, if I just I just stop stop sharing. sharing. Okay, okay. Now, now it's a stop. It's a stop. Like this like way, you you will collaboratively work and share screen at the 
discuss with each other on the screen sharing topic okay oh sorry i am here i leave this okay now now here actually uh, multiple screens are visible because i am showing you how if you are uh, this meeting is one to one with a on the same system that's why there are multiple images are there okay echo is coming due to i was connected within the same two calls on the same computer and that's why so echo was there okay so now again i go here in ram power window you can chat you can meet like recently i have tell you okay sites you can create sites for your organization okay so this is simple go it if you are your organization you can create multiple sites if you want to if you have any events create event site for your organization event site it's a simple free of cost because you have your g suite with you okay okay so now you you just create your site i'll show you say motor institute annual gathering okay you put here now it's so simple you can see is you are creating a site no need required you, you don't require any developer or anyone even though you are working in uh, even though you are working with uh, any uh, non computer related branch which is a chemistry teacher or zoology teacher also i would like to uh, say this uh, training is scheduled by one of the zoology teacher because he because there is a technology doesn't have any matter you just need to learn the keep learning the things okay and it's a uh, need of uh, uh, future okay so when you add so you can say community hall so you can add your images you can change the images you don't want image you can put the another image here upload the image like this way you keep the i see this image is looking good okay this is the image good. so like this way day one day two day three you want to check here change your day nine day 88 if you want to don't like this text you can change the text and update the content it's really simple really and you just say publish just a single click okay and now see a web address see your your address you just say and you are gathering okay you are saying annual gathering and you are saying publish now see it's a publish you just go i just copy the link view publish site you just need to see the event is ready guys event is ready you, you just need to you are just survive event is ready site is ready and you can do any changes here okay so like this way like this way you can create again i go in sites again i will show you how you can create the sites for your organization i will close other tabs to avoid the confusion so here in i will ram power our favorite teacher okay now got it i say got it create site now you want any club any event restaurant site but your your school so you need to create school related something or you want to launch something for your school it's a simple thing within a minute within a you just sit for a two three hour and your well furnished site is ready you can set your logo you can do anything motor Hi. Okay. Now here you can put anything here. Select word, name, and presentation. Here you need to add the slide. Check Ramsar. Any slide is there with Ramsar? The result template is with him. So I have selected the result template here. Okay. 
so you need to create something informative you change the name say result template so whatever you can add any image anything and your site is if you don't like this image you just go or change the image here replace image upload you can change and upload the image if i don't like that image i will upload the certificate image okay so your site as you look at quick site you can append the text here if i don't like this text i say institute i'll put some text here now here now here we are going to put uh, here we just pasted some content from somewhere your site is ready guys you click here gear icon okay and branding image you have upload the logo and add our logo and this is our logo okay so your site within a minute no need to develop or no need to wait and no need to uh, sorry uh, within a minute your site is ready okay so you just need to take initiative and implement the things for your organization technology is advanced technology is growing technology is at a top level now means there is for the basic things websites and all no need to rely on a developer developer in software developer and all okay so it's my uh, recommendation uh, to uh, is to, to get, get this uh, google suit and you will you will uh, do anything for your organization you just need to click on single click your site will publish motor institute your site will publish you can see okay no need to say server and uh, hosting server hosting plan nothing 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 just go with the google suit i view my view the sites you can see here sites is published and you can look like this okay so if i say copy the site publish the site link just link is ready copy that link and share with your college or everyone okay so you are if if you have now they need to anyone can log in now if i say this the publish link so it enter the credentials so like this way you can create the sites and anything as you wish okay just showing you the site how it look wait this, there is something is missing let me site is ready now site is ready now i'll go in uh, arm source account review change and publish view publish site and publish publishing settings Enter must use the changes. Okay, no need to change. Gear icon, brand announcement, view tools, navigation, top navigation, slide, transition white. I'll just show you how it will look. Now, name is Iris. You can see here. If this side you can see, and you can add the multiple pages, text here also. and your site is ready now here share public anyone can find and you publish anyone at jayval at draft just show beta invite change anyone find can view and publish the ones anyone can view the publish one specific people anyone okay i say anyone now maybe the site will be the public done okay so i copy this link copy the switch here okay so anyone can access the site content now 
okay anyone can i just pasted and anyone can access the site now okay so like this way guys i have given you the session on g suit i hope uh, whatever the important things i have covered this keep means keep is for just reminder means your notes you can add the notes in that keep okay so you can keep the uh, turn on and reminder notes you keep put it here okay so it's not easy topic that keep means so i have covered many of the important topics they those are used day to day in your uh, organization career how to create the result i will soon i will share with you and uh, what we are doing we are going to share this live streaming uh, links with you okay and also uh, this is a certificate course we will provide you the awesome certificate for that this certificate will be the value addition in your organization if your organization already have g suit or they are going to purchase the g suit you can present that you are the uh, person who is certified with the g suit course and you have the knowledge on this g suit course this course is a really valuable certification of this course will will be the value addition in your career nowadays in this pandemic situation the certificate of, of this uh, course will uh, impress your seniors and uh, with this certificate course you will get the, i hope you will get the knowledge on that you can uh, set up the g suit environment for your college on individual basis you can use this set up for your school or your class anywhere you can use to share the content because nowadays online education is very important for next 5 to 6 months or don't know till what time so i request you we are going to provide the links to feed the feedback okay so feed the feedback in feedback form also you will get the youtube uh, link for that and from the feedback form also you can uh, app, uh, apply for the certificate thank you guys thanks for your patience i missed that one topic i will cover this. and thanks for being with me and uh, hope we'll connect in the next session okay so next session will be on office 365 probably on office 365 or maybe on website simple website creation okay thank you guys thanks a lot guys nice to uh, work with you and those who did not receive the certificate on earlier course that course was related to advanced email uh, features and email composition that was a really nice course and uh, i have given certificate to all the people those who missed that certificate i will tell you to uh, please whatsapp on number whatsapp on number Uh, on given number and uh, they will give you all the uh, share all the details with you okay keep whatsapp and uh, in case you have any query you just whatsapp on this number you will get all the details this is number okay so this is our organization number in case uh, you have any issue with the certification you So, so you just click on this number you will get the details for that okay thanks thanks a lot guys thanks for your patience and uh, joining with us or uh, you can join our uh, telegram link also uh, our telegram link is we are coming with the uh, very advanced course just keep in mind the technology anyone can learn the technology technology is not a factor so google is a great platform digital platform through which uh, you can learn anything any technology youtube is also there take the help of youtube and establish your set up this technology are really advanced it will save your time okay so join this uh, any concerns uh, you can whatsapp on this number and also you can join this our telegram channel thank you guys thanks a lot nice to work with you i will paste this in our window here
your um, comments keep me motivating thanks for your comments in case you have any suggestions uh, or uh, in case you want me to conduct any topic on any uh, topic you just uh, recommend me i will conduct that topic for you okay so those people who are not uh, registered yet so we are going to uh, give the feedback from details through that you can uh, register and also through that you can uh, even though you can register in uh, through existing link also you can register through the feedback link just after registration for certificate you just need to whatsapp on the given number and uh, they will give you the follow, follow up on that so you can you can join the lectures now also means uh, or you can join the lecture through youtube and uh, apply for certificate also okay thanks guys thanks for your patience and thanks for joining thank you